Whenever you're working on your classic car, you're going to run into a case where you're going to need to be able to pull wires out of electrical terminals, like this distributor here. In order for me to replace the pickup that's inside, I have to actually take this terminal off so I can pull it through the housing. But in order to do that, I need to release these pin tools. And, you know, whenever, you know, also, you know, a common one is like the regular blade type terminals that most cars have in several places, or even your steering column electrical connector. And, you know, these can be a little challenging, but if you have the right tools, in this case, you know, I've got a, a set of terminal tools that, uh, you know, this is EWK. It's uh, not a name brand. I think I paid less than $20 for the whole set, but, uh, just having a set of these, you know, they also sell them a little bit smaller uh, that'll fit on a key ring, but you know, having a set you can actually get in and take these terminals apart. We'll start with this pin tool. And to remove a pin, you know, uh, the pin type plug, they, they make a tool that is uh, basically a hollow tube that has a spring inside. And you kind of slide that down on top of the, the pin and you might have to wiggle it around a little bit and then that pushes out the terminal and you can release these. There's basically a little barb on the, on the pin itself. Sometimes when you actually release the bar, when you release the pin, the barb gets kind of flattened out. If you got to, you know, insert that back into a plug, just grab like a, like a razor or something, pull that tab out just a little bit so it catches again. The next one we're going to take a look at is just this typical blade type. And uh, again, they, they make, it's, it almost looks like a screwdriver, just a thin, flat type uh, blade that slides in and releases the tang. You can see the tang on the uh, connector here that kind of sticks up and that catches the, the plastic and holds it in there typically. So it's just a matter of releasing that. And one of the ones that most guys get really frustrated is the steering uh, column harness. This is a flat plug and it kind of works a little different than most. And if you look at the plug itself, there's little bit, little grooves along the one edge. And those little grooves are where this tool actually inserts. And we just kind of push in and it releases. And what it is is on these connectors here, the, the hook that actually catches is on the side of the terminal as opposed to in the middle on the side. So that's usually what messes up a lot of guys is they think they're used to seeing like the blade type connectors where it's on the side, but this one, it's uh, in a little different location. You know, you'll, a lot of times if you're changing from one uh, steering column to another, if you're trying to retrofit like a GM column to a non-GM car, you know, you may have to move these wires around to fit your harness. So it's a good idea to know how to be able to, to release these wires without damaging your flat plugs. 